Y'all, today, in this video, I'm going to share with y'all recipes or things that are served at the Masters. When does the Masters start, Teresa? It actually starts on April 5th, which is a Monday. April so, the 5th, okay. And how long does it last? It goes for, the tournament itself is on Thursday, Friday, and then the Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so it's like a week long. Oh yeah, it's a week okay. long. Well, I've never been to the Masters. I think Jamie and Bobby has, but I know that Teresa has been. It's like the Mecca of golf. It's like heaven yes. for golf. I wish I loved golf, but I'll tell you who loved golf, and that was my precious brother, Bubba. Bubba could sit and watch golf all day long and all night long. And uh, when I was in front of the TV with him, he was watching that golf, it just put me to sleep. <laughs> to me, it was very slow moving, and <laughs> but he loved it. So, Teresa loves it too, hence she was... Uh, well, my parents, that's all we watched on Sundays. Even my mother. Really? Mm -hmm. And my mother loved um, Chipper Jones. No, Chipper Jones is a baseball. Um, oh gosh, Freddie, Cu Freddie Couples. Uh-huh. And God bless my mother. She t called me to tell me when Freddie was getting a divorce. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I lived in Orlando, and apparently he lived in Orlando, and she uh -huh. just thought we'd make the best couple. Now, how funny is that? Oh, no. God love him. So you were supposed to look up this oh, guy? So, yeah. No. no. <laughs> yes, yeah, you look pretty, Teresa, in your St. Patrick's Day green. I know, but anyway. Master, so, Master's green. Master's green. My grass, Master's, Master's green. green, sorry. So my poor mother, she thought I would be good for... Um, Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, too. Junior? <laughs> <laughs> Let me you tell you. You know how mothers are. Li listen, if you've ever been a parent, you will never find anybody good enough for your child. <clears throat> so let's Thank go back goodness, to Michael and I looked out. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't find just two, we found four. <laughs> So we're so blessed. Uh, well, I'm sorry that you and John didn't get I together. I would love to have met him. And... Me too. <laughs> but um, these are, but the pimento cheese, the one thing that is really cool about the Masters uh -huh. is they have the same menu every year. It's cheap. It, they don't, it's not something that it's they're not, looking to make a profit it's off. It's not freely and fancy and all that stuff. Pimento cheese, egg salad, I believe they have Barbecue. Barbecue sandwiches. And yeah. I want to say they're like a dollar twenty-five each. On white wow. bread. End of story. So it's just like we serve it down here in the south. It's not on fancy breads, it's on white bread. And um did you say this was it had like a little where is this served at the Masters? These are the now these are just at the concession areas. Okay. That you go to. There's now, a sure. concession stand. Mm -hmm. But there's probably clubs. Oh, I'm sure for the fancy that, people. Yeah that want to get fancy, but uh, that ain't nothing like a pimento cheese sandwich on good fresh white bread that sticks to the roof of your mouth when you bite it, and an egg salad sandwich. So I'm going to share with y'all a recipe that I formulated uh, very soon after starting the bag lady. I sold what, what I call trio sandwiches, and it would be one and a half sandwiches, you know, cut diagonally, and it fit perfect in that cl that clear plastic uh, clamshell. And I would stand them up, and there would be a pimento cheese, an egg salad, and then maybe a chicken salad. I sold more uh, more of those than you could shake a stick at. People just loved having that variety, so. I think that our recipe for pimento cheese is actually the best. So I'm going to start with cream cheese. And it's real important that you don't use a diced onion. You need to grate that onion on the grater and get that onion juice out of it. And I've got a half a... a, a I've got half of an eight ounce package of cream cheese and I'm just 
gonna try to mash that up a little. And I'm using, you know, I just recommend using whatever your favorite cheeses are. I hope this bowl's gonna be big enough. Uh, so I have suggested uh, a cup of grated Monterey Jack cheese and a cup of sharp cheddar. So this is the Monterey Jack and this is the cheddar. And uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you grate this, you hand grate this yourself. And if you've got a food processor, I love, I love grating my cheese in those because you just cut that big old block in half and stick it in there and you're done within a second. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to do. So I'm gonna incorporate these cheeses in that pimento cheese. And uh, let me tell you who, who made the best pimento cheese in the world. You know, each of us had our job to do. You know, I'm gonna have to have a bigger bowl. I wanted to use one that y'all could see. But, um, I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, I think there's a clear one right under here. There's a clear one down here? Yeah. I don't see one, Eddie. I mean, it's there's one that's real big, so I'm just gonna transfer this to a bigger bowl. I'm not gonna fight that. So anyway, uh, my sons and I each had our job in the restaurant. Now that's maybe a third of a cup of pimento. And you can put as much pimento as you want in there. If you like more, you know, put more. And we didn't measure out the uh, mayonnaise because that's really to your tongue, to your palate. Uh, but I will say this, your pimento cheese will dry out very, very quickly once you put it in the refrigerator. So uh, the next day you may have to come in and add a little bit more mayonnaise to it because it will stiffen up on you. And you wanna make sure you use a good high quality mayonnaise. And like I said, I'm not measuring this out. I'm just gonna put, put, put it in. And the only thing I see missing from this recipe, and I know this is the recipe. So anyway, I never finished telling you who made the best. I taught him how, and I said, well, son, you make it better than me. You may need to reteach me. And that was Bobby. He made all the pimento cheese. Jamie made all the chicken salads, all the cold salads. And uh, Bobby's specialty was gooey butter cakes and pimento cheese. And we love when I make uh, my homemade vegetable beef soup using short ribs. Oh my goodness. I love to grill our pimento cheese sandwiches and uh, do a toasted one to dip in that soup. It's heavenly good. So the only thing that I do differently, and I may have accidentally left that off, is, and I'm not a big fan of Worcestershire sauce, but I do like just a, a drop of Worcestershire. Not, not a whole bunch. Mm. You know, there's just something about that uh, grated cheese in a bag. It just, once you get used to grating your uh, own cheese, it just can't compare. All right, so I'm gonna put those pimentas are are really salty, and plus cheese is salty, so I'm gonna use just a wee little bit of house seasoning. You know, give it that little touch of garlic. 
that we're going to get in the black pepper. So, that's it. <laughs> yum, yum. Us Southerners, we do love us a pimento cheese sandwich. And at every lady's function, you'll probably find little, small, little fancy sandwiches that are pimento cheese. Guess what? They get to, you're going to show them another one, too. Yes, and I'm going to show y'all another one because Teresa said this is all about uh, honoring the masters today. So, Teresa said they always have pimento cheese sandwiches and egg salad sandwiches. So, I'm going to put this one to the side and the egg salad is so basic. So, let me gather up my stuff and I'll be right back. Uh, so, I don't, I don't cut my eggs up. You know, I don't slice them. I don't, I do them all with my hands because I don't want my eggs to be so fine that, you know, they're like little ground up pieces. I like for them to look like this, you know, and I can see my egg pieces. So you're talking about simple, simple. Well, this, um, this is a recipe from, um, my website, and it's a very, very basic, simple egg salad that's really, really good, and uh, nothing fancy, but this is an egg salad in toast cups, and I suggest to you, if you're gonna serve these at a ladies' brunch or a shower or something, you can take your piece of white bread and trim the crust off and put a little butter on it, some softened butter, and then put them down inside a muffin, a muffin tin, so that they'll make a cup. And then you just bake those off until they're nice and crisp, and then you fill it with egg salad. But we're not doing that today because the masters doesn't do that. So we're doing just what the masters do, which is mayonnaise, and onion powder or onion salt. If you've got onion salt, that's fine. And I'm using sweet pickles. And I'm gonna drain those good because I don't want my egg salad to be watery. Oh, uh, so you can use the pickle of your choice I have found that when I moved to Savannah, that folks here really liked sweet pickles in like their tuna salad, their chicken salad. But I've always been a dill person, but I'm doing it just like they like it on this side of Georgia. I mean, it's so basic. All right, let's see, it's um, hard boiled eggs, a fourth of a cup of chopped pickle, two teaspoons of pickle juice, and a half a teaspoon of onion salt. So since I didn't have salt, I'm gonna use a little house seasoning. And then I'm gonna put, let's see, is that, is that coarse ground pepper right here? Yes. I like I like the coarse ground pepper. So just a little bit. And I'm gonna slowly add the pickle juice. Because like I said, I don't want it to be watery. So that's it. How simple can you get? Mmm. It's so good. And if you like your egg a little bit finer than that, just mash them till you get it the way you want it. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more house seasoning. It's good. 
going to add a little bit more onion powder because I don't think I added what it called for. Okay. So, we're going to put our, our sandwiches together. I'm going to bring this down here just in case. <laughs> I want to put a little mayonnaise on the bread. Do they cut these um, sandwiches, Therese? No. They're they don't? They just in little bags. And okay, I was going to say, I'm going to put these in bags. Yep, sandwich. And, um... I keep little brown paper bags on hand, and, and I just love them, huh? I think they're it's been like several years since I've had the honor of getting to go. <laughs> well, hopefully, if anybody out there has tickets and would like to share, I'm certainly. Do you? I'll bring um, you pimento cheese and egg salad. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm using just a nice classic white bread. And I think I am just going to put a little bit of mayonnaise just to kind of moisten our bread. And like I said, the main thing you want is for that bread to be fresh, fresh. Okay, a little bit more here. Do they make them thick, Teresa, or no. not yeah, real thick? Good. Just like a standard, mm -hmm. just like a standard sandwich. I know what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> so here you go, one egg salad to go. <laughs> That'll be a dollar and a quarter, please. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little more than that, but surely it's more done. than that. Uh, and I'm gonna put a little mayonnaise on this too because I think that'll help my pimento cheese spread better. Was this bread from my pantry, Teresa? No, ma'am. It's from the grocery store. Okay. I needed to make sure it was fresh white. I was just wondering. Like I said, if you want an extra special treat, butter the outsides of this bread and toast it just like you would a grilled cheese sandwich. And it will be so good. So there we go in honor of the masters and Teresa's memories. We're ready to go. These are very easy to eat when you're on the golf course, isn't it, Teresa? Yes. You don't have to slow down for anything. <laughs> and Teresa, thank you so much for um, being so knowledgeable. You know, not, not knowledgeable. <laughs> that's just kind of my, that's just something that's my history. I don't know if I've given all the right history, but that's well, what I remember. You know, it's history as you know it. Yeah. So there you go. And that's my history as I know it. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.